All right, all visitors for cell block B, move forward. anymore. So what you saying? You leaving me? I can't do this anymore. The no. fuck you mean you can't Settle do this? down. Let me get that. That's my girl. Yeah, baby. Birthday. How are you? I'm doing as good as can be expected. God, it's been 11 years since. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, at least we never missed one. Yeah, hopefully we never will. Are you still working for that punk ass conservative site? This shit? You know, I come to see you on our birthdays, and you're just gonna give me the same damn thing. I mean, you know you was wrong for that, though, sis. I mean, you're just out here perpetuating the stereotype. <laughs> and what about you, huh? What are you doing? The same thing. Blackmail, late 20s, convicted felon. Now, if that isn't a stereotype, then I don't know what is. All right, Cam. I've seen the news. How you holding up? Not you. I can't. No, you gotta talk to someone about it, though. For the last three weeks, that is all I've been doing. Reporters, activists, random ass people at the grocery store, they all wanna talk to me about it. And I. But you know that's not what I mean. Your fiance died. My fiance was murdered. Yeah, you're right. So what you gonna do about it? Huh? You gonna sit there and keep writing right-wing propaganda about how the cops are just doing their job? Or you gonna get up and I do something? I stop. Do you think I like doing this, huh? Do you know I'm not even allowed to call black people people? No. Every fucking pre-written headline, the damn clickbait that they spew. Black people are thugs, okay? If I can't convince them to change a headline, how can I get them to start telling the truth? Did you just say spew? Man, fuck you. Fuck you too, college graduate. I was, um, I was gonna tell Keyshawn that night. Tell him what? I think I'm pregnant. Candy. Now you see why I can't quit. What am I gonna do, huh? What if it's a boy? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, okay? Look at you, Dad, Keyshawn. If I have a son, I know exactly what's gonna happen to him. Oh, come on, Candy, you can't say that. That's the last bit of him that you have. Oh, it is deeper than that. How am I gonna explain to my child that they will 
Never. No, they're dead. How am I gonna look them in the eyes when they ask me why he was killed and tell them the truth without ruining their innocence or painting their birthplaces someplace dangerous to them? How am I gonna teach them to lead with love when that's exactly what their dad did and he got killed because of fear and hate? Now this place is not safe for a black child, especially mine, whose father was killed by police, whose grandfather died in prison, and whose uncle is locked, locked up, up for, for life. life. Exactly. It doesn't even matter that you're innocent. No, because they proved that I was guilty. Are we really the ones perpetuating the stereotype? Or are we being forced into it? Wrap it up, number 14. Look, Candy, you're smart, all right? You're talented. But more importantly, you're the only Lewis left with a voice. Use it. Somebody had to say it. All the way that direction. Up on that P. You're the only Lewis left with a voice. To win, you gotta defy the laws of gravity. We pull each other down, even kill our own family. But if I speak the truth, the whole world might be mad at me. It's one explanation. What's that? Plantation mentality. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll see you at the nine hole, buddy. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be there. Ms. Lewis, now is not a good time. We need to talk. Right now. Howard, let me call you right back. This better be good. How could you, Mr. Bergman? Even for you, this is a new low. Can I get to the point? The story you assigned to me today. One, it is beyond insensitive that you would assign that headline to me. And two, 
To expect me to write about my fiance's murder from the fucking cops or cleared point of view is completely heartless. And three, I have worked here for almost three years now, and I have never given you any attitude about the way I have to write about my people. I have bitten my tongue so many times, it's a wonder it hasn't even fallen off by now, but I am gonna speak up because the level of disrespect you have just shown is- quite is enough. Firstly, I gave it to you because I figured no one else would be able to spin this story with the level of tact needed not to hurt you other than yourself. Secondly, the story's hot. You can't run away from it. We're the highest rated news aggregate site on the East Coast, so our audience will notice if we don't report on this. It was my respect for you that made me give you this assignment, rather than letting one of our other writers butcher your dead fiancé further. You can't be serious. He was my fiance. I am a dedicated employee. Does that mean nothing to you? You knew who our audience was when you took this job. The fact that you've suddenly been struck with a conscience doesn't mean you get to change the way things are run here. Look around, this is a conservative news site. But we offer job opportunities to everyone regardless of their background. Do our words sometimes target others in your... In their same demographic, yes. But then again, aren't we all part of the same demographic? The human race? And don't all lives matter equally? So what is it, Miss Lewis? Do you... <laughs> You're happy to make money here. You're happy to work here just so long as we don't hit too close to home. <laughs> you need a job. You need money. You need something from me where all readers need something from you. It's not right. You know it's not right. If there wasn't an audience, there wouldn't be a need for us, but there is. 5.2 million people worth of an audience, and that's just counting Twitter. This is a machine. It's not personal. It's business. Let me write my own headlines. No, I'll keep it fucking right wing, but just let me tell the truth. People don't really want the truth. There's no excitement in that. That's why we exist. You didn't actually think you were a journalist, did you? Journalism is dead, Candace. Hearst's greatest achievement replaced it. What we deliver is biting anecdotes for an audience hungry for a fight. We give them necessary ammo. The truth? They don't need the truth. They need to be told what to believe. That's your job. Go tell them what to believe. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, Howard. I'm not cheating. You are cheating. How I'm can not you roll in? Because I'm nice like that. No. What's wrong? That was you really mad. Don't be mad. I am mad. No. Don't be mad. No, I'm very Don't upset. Don't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. All right, okay, okay. I'll see you later. Hmm. All right, baby. I'll hey, see you. Get home tonight. tonight. All right, I have to get home for tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm cooking. On January 14th, 2020, Keyshawn Demarcus Williams was shot and killed by officers of the Forsyth County Police Department. What's up?
candy. I know it was a rough start today. I'm sorry. You are valued here. It's just we have to keep the status quo. I understand the rules now, Mr. Bergman. Good. Story all set? It's in your inbox. He was a 33-year-old black male. Officers pulled him over on suspicion of illegal drug possession. Williams stood his ground and asked officers if they had a warrant, at which point the officers asked him to step outside of the vehicle. Williams again denied. The officers, Michael Rennie and Sarah Petrillo, pulled their guns on Williams, which prompted Williams to reach for his own weapon. His cell phone. I said step out of the vehicle. Officer, sir. I know my rights. Okay, I'm gonna call my lawyer, all right? I'm reaching for my phone, okay? I'm just reaching for my phone. The officers feared for their lives. So they shot Williams, point blank. Gun, he's got a gun! All he wanted to do was record the injustice that he was currently facing. The illegality of the situation that he found himself in. He never got that chance. Keyshawn was pronounced dead at the scene. Yesterday, Michael Rennie and Sarah Petrillo were cleared of any wrongdoing, citing Keyshawn's sudden movements as probable cause for the shooting. Williams never had any prior drug charges. He was a mechanic who doubled as a dog walker on the weekends. What is it? 49. 49. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, great job. And? He tutored underprivileged children during the week. And he would have made an excellent father. There is a war going on against our people. Kishan was not the first victim, nor will he be the last. However, the only way to win in this war is to become aware that we are actually in war. It's time to expose what is really going on. It's time to pull the wool off of our eyes and see that nothing has really changed. In the age of colorblindness, we have all become blind. Jim Crow is alive and well, and the only way to stop it is to understand the subtleties under which it now operates. We have all been played. Black, white, and other. We are not each other's enemies. But we do all have a common foe, and right now, they 
are winning. Open your mind, open your eyes, and arm yourselves with knowledge. The new Jim Crow is upon us. These are the rules under which it accomplishes its desired results. These are the majority rules. And this is only the beginning. Mommy, what happened to Daddy? Sean Williams' fiance? Yes, of course. Well, looks like she knows you too. I got something for you. You're in prison for life based off the words of a few witnesses, but there was no hard evidence connecting you to the drugs. That's how it works. They pit us against each other. Those dudes are just trying to get a deal. I've never seen one of them before the day that they testified against me. People are really starting to listen to her. With your re-election coming up, we are going to lose the black vote. I'll handle it. Soon. Say his name! He shot! Say his name! He shot! Everyone wants to talk to you, sis. You're really doing something here. Now don't stop. Be careful. And I know you are all thinking this is blue versus black. I assure you, it is not. Those officers were operating on real fear because they were told by someone they trust that they should be afraid. Is he some kind of lawyer or something? This ship is generational, man, on both sides. How do we break the cycle, though? I think you need to see it to stop it. The new Jim Crow is upon us. These are the rules under which it accomplishes its desired results. Say his name! He shot! 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 These are the majority rules.
Can I help you? Luther Hughes. I work at the law firm downtown. The cases that you're profiling, I was wondering if I can offer a little help. Pro bono, of course. People talk about making America great again. But the last time America was great was when we revolted together against an unjust regime. So, who's ready to be an American?